So that's us just going to make our way to the hospital now. It's like half six in the morning. I've not ate since like ten last night. I'm absolutely starving. Oh, just can't wait. I'm so excited. What for you? <gasps> Pet puppy! <laughs> What's that? Show the book first. Oh, it's too late. Look, your little sister got you that. Baby. Yeah. Sai, I'll read it to you. Do you like your baby sister? Yeah. Why not? I want to cuddle you. You want to cuddle me instead? I'll give you cuddles. There is a Oh. Oh, give it an kiss. Oh, that is nice. Hey, <laughs> so it's the morning after the section. Um, I have kind of lost my place a wee bit. But um, yeah, I'm genuinely just a little bit sore. Yesterday um, I didn't really have a lot of pain, which I wasn't expecting, but um, it's definitely came this morning. Um, it's about seven or something. Um, and I had this section about quarter to eleven. Um, I'll update you guys when I get home on just exactly what happened in the section and things like that. I'm hoping to get home this afternoon, but we just need to wait and see. Okay, so I thought we'd show you guys what happened uh, in the labour story. We weren't able to video it because um, like a lot was going on and it was all over the place. So I thought I would just show you guys what really actually happened. So we made our way to the hospital for 7 in the morning. Um, we got to get into this room with, I think there was four other people on the ward. Everyone was going in for their section and we got a number. So I was number two in the queue. So it was actually really quick. Um, there is a lot of waiting about in hospitals, which is kind of a problem. But yeah, I've got a really husky voice because I've ended up with a cold after the section. But it's going away now, so hopefully it won't be too long till I'm feeling totally better. So um, yeah, really just what happened was just got bloods took. Um, just really explained what was going to happen on the day of the caesarean, you spoke to the anaesthesia, whatever that thing's called. Um, we spoke to the doctor who was delivering the baby and that was really it. At the end I did become very, very nervous to think that like I was going to have my baby with 
thin like that day and I did get really anxious of what was going to happen but yeah so the first section um the woman before us she got took about five ten past nine I think she got took away um, and I think that's when it really started to hit that I wasn't coming home without a baby so she was took everything was fine she came back and then it was her turn so um what happened was I went I walked into the room and my boyfriend partner obviously wasn't there with me because I had to get the spinal on my back and they weren't allowed to be in the room when that was happening so we got took to the room I got told to sit up with an arched back and the spinal went into my back which to be honest I think was it wasn't 1 to 10 painful wise I'd say it was about 7 um, it wasn't no, I could feel it but it wasn't agony the cannula in my arm actually was a lot worse that was agony I don't know why but yeah that was totally agony um, so after that was in it took a couple, it took quite a while to get it in actually, um, into my spine. Um, I did feel a lot of pain in my left side, down my back, but that was, um, that is normal apparently, so that was alright. Um, and then, what they do is, they ask you to um, sit back and they'll pull, like kind of pull you onto the bed because you can't really feel anything after that. Um, yeah, so once they had done that, they had sprayed, like they use this spray thing and spray your legs and you need to tell them when, like when you can feel the coldness, not like it's spraying you, when you can feel how cold it is. So they sprayed me and I was like, I can still, I was like, it's cold on my legs everywhere. Um, so they had to wait a couple of more minutes and then spray that again and I couldn't feel it. So that was good that the spinal had actually worked. So then, um, I think after that, they put the drape up, your buffing partner can come in, and they're all good to go. So, um, they do lie the bed on a slight, slight slant, because, I don't know, I think it's just to do with, like, grip and pressure and things like that. But yeah, um, so that's what happened, and then your buffing partner comes in, your everyone's kind of just all getting ready to start you can't feel it but you can you can feel everything you can feel someone touching your leg but it's not painful you can just feel it do you know what i mean um so yeah i could feel everything i could feel them pulling me i could feel them like like it felt like you were being dragged along the bed to be honest but you're not actually moving um yeah so that was kind of that um the one thing I thought was totally horrible about it was I could hear them snipping something like um, at my scar and it just it made me feel really sick and then I started to feel really dizzy so they gave me a sick bucket thing to be sick in um, and then I just started to kind of feel really really dizzy and like as if I was going to pass out but thankfully I never passed out. Baby was born at 10 4 to 7 a.m. and everything was all good she had a full head of hair um, the only problem they had with her was um, she was so far down my uterus that they had to get some forceps so they had to get some forceps to get her head out of my uterus to bring her out of the scar um, and as well she had little marks on her face because of it but um, apart from that everything was perfectly fine um, my took a lot longer I think for my section because she did say that my scar tissue was really really deep so it was really hard to get that cut um, so yeah that was really it um, after pain I would say on the day of the section I would say I didn't really have that much after pain if I'm honest um, obviously because I was obviously still numb Eve Rose came up met her little sister and things like that um, yeah I'm going to do a video on the like the days after like how I'm recovering and things like that um but yeah I, I was um Catholic was out basically about six hours after I was up walking about not doing too much of course just in case um but yeah everything was perfect